This video is about helping learning disabled people to travel safely in Tyne and Weir. Whether you're using a taxi, a bus or the metro, we hope this DVD helps you get out and about and travel safe. If you're going to travel safely, you should take some precautions before you go out. You should always tell someone where you are going. I'm going out to see my friends at the club. How are you getting there? And who are you going with? In a taxi by myself. How are you getting back? And at what time? Taxi at 10 o'clock. Before you leave, you should check that your keys are in a safe place. Don't carry too much money, but take some spare change so you can make a phone call or pay your bus fare. You should always carry a list of useful phone numbers. These might be your parent, carer, day centre, college or work. If you have a mobile phone, make sure it's charged and has enough credit to make a call. If you're travelling by taxi, use a service you know or one recommended by someone you trust. Hello Eric. Morning. So where are you going today? Going to the club. How much it cost? That'll be three pounds. That's all right. You should always check how much the journey will cost and make sure you have booked your return journey. If you are travelling by bus, you will need to know where the nearest bus stop is, what number bus you need to catch and where to get on and off. You should plan your route with a map and a timetable and once again tell someone where you are going and what time you are expected back. When the bus comes, hold out your hand to let the bus driver know you want them to stop. You should have your bus pass or money ready before the bus arrives. This helps the driver keep on time. To stay safe, try to sit at the front of the bus near the driver. Some buses have a space for people who use a wheelchair or have a pram. You can sit here, but if someone gets on the bus who needs this space, you will have to move. When you are near your stop, you should ring the bell only once. The bus stopping sign will light up, but stay in your seat until the bus has stopped. If you need help on a bus journey, you should talk to the driver, especially if you are unsure about which bus to get, you are unsure about where to get off, you think you have missed your stop, people are bothering you on the bus, the bus breaks down or changes its route. If you are travelling by metro, it is important to plan your journey. Tell someone where you are going and make sure you have everything you need. When you reach the station, you will need to know what time your metro will arrive and what platform it will arrive at. If you are not sure about anything, Ask a staff member on the platform for help or go to a help point. Get your ticket at the machine before you get on the metro. Always stand well back from the edge of the platform and listen carefully for announcements. These might be about delays or changes to the service. When you get on, look around before you choose your seat. If possible, sit near other people. Try and sit near an emergency button. When you are on the metro, keep your ticket or pass where you can get to it easily because the inspector may need to see it. Listen for announcements about where the metro will be stopping next. To exit the train, press the button on the door. Follow the exit signs at the station to continue on your journey. Remember, make sure you bring all your belongings with you when you get off the metro. We hope this video helps you to be more confident when travelling throughout Tyne and Weir. For more information, 
contact Irene Story at Nexus, email irene.story at nexus.org.uk or telephone 0191 203309. And remember, travel safe.